Welcome to the Endless Honeymoon Podcast. It's actually the secret dump. Secret dump. And I'm all smiles today. Can our, can our viewers see my teeth? Do they look white, honey? Moshe got his teeth whitened and then was almost uh, paralyzed with pain. Well, I was physically incapacitated by a t- tooth whitening treatment. Uh, and I. What if there was like a war going on that you had to go fight, honey? This is how I know I would not fare well in said war. You know, like these QAnon Marines would have their <laughs> fucking guts hanging out and they'd be like, for the vaccine protections. <laughs> and they'd keep fighting to like murder libs. And I was like in my bed, bedridden, weeping, grabbing my teeth, going, I thought maybe I'd get a little more acting work with brighter teeth. Do you think I'm a baby or is it real? Oh, I definitely think you're a baby, but I'm sure it didn't feel great. It was agony, honey. It was 10 out of 10. 10, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Or 9 out of 10. I In mean, pain? Tooth pain. Okay, that does seem like it was It was like hurt. an electric wave coming and blanging me. And I had to go to bed. I, I went to sleep. I, I, I straight up, I, I passed out. I couldn't even parent my child. All for white teeth. All for you fucking people. All for you listeners who've been writing in saying that I have dingy teeth, saying I have yellow teeth, saying that my teeth look No, is that really something that happens to you? Constant uh, from the the listeners of this podcast. (laughs) Have you been chewing on butter? Why are your teeth wearing... Why are your teeth wearing sweaters? Um, Are your (laughs) teeth... I'm serious. Are your are your teeth Ew. are your teeth canaries? Did you attack Big Bird? This, this is like making me gag. Can you well, just stop What's not true? It? Nobody said anything like that. I just thought I just thought if I could just get a little bit more white, that maybe things would turn around for the boy, you know. And I'm feeling real confident. Our daughter still said my teeth were whiter, and I didn't even get mine white. Well, you got perfect teeth, honey. What's that feel like? How's that feel? Is that nice? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I couldn't afford braces growing up. I couldn't afford toothbrushes growing up. I could. That's why I use yours, because I'm used to coming from a family. I was I, I was raised in a family of sixteen brothers and sisters, and two moms and four dads, and we all shared one toothbrush. Okay, you actually did remind me of something, though. I am actually out of a toothbrush again because you can't remember which color I am, so you still keep using my toothbrush. Please don't mention that. <laughs> It's an accident and I didn't do it on purpose. And it happened one time. I'm really being trying to be diligent about this. In my new post-tooth whitened era, I'm trying to be very <laughs> diligent about this. Golly gee, I haven't had coffee in two days because they said it would stain my teeth. I, I, I Uber Eats two energy drinks at like seven in the morning the other day because I couldn't <laughs> have coffee. <laughs> well, what honey, the fuck is wrong with me? It's uh, Hopefully it'll all pay off. Yeah, hopefully so. Hopefully it will pay off in... Um, I don't know. Maybe you'll become a movie star. Well, people have been flirting with me. I've noticed that. I've had a lot of online flirtation. A lot of um, a lot of people writing in saying, "Ditch the zero and get with a hero." <laughs> right. That sounds that sounds accurate. Are you the zero in that dynamic, honey? You know I'm not. I know you're a ten. You're a ten, but you know what else is a ten? Your the, pain. The shade. My my pain the other day, but also the shade of whiteness of my teeth. Feeling real confident. Ready to get out there and get a one-line uh, <laughs> role in a Hulu show. So if you are out there and you're casting a Hulu show and you need a one-liner uh, from a guy with really nice teeth, I'm your guy. Well, they're not nice. They're, they are white, though. Fuck you, man. <laughs> you're not nice. You're like my teeth. You're not very nice. Uh, all right. Well, honey, let's hear some secrets. Let's do it. Hi, Moshe and Natasha. I have a secret. Um, It's kind of embarrassing. So I sent my current boyfriend. He wanted like a dirty, naughty picture of me. And I sent him this photo that I took like previously for another guy um, when I was just dating around. And it was just like an underwear photo. But he saw that it was like from... I don't know how he figured it out. I forget if, like, the date was on the picture that I sent him or what, but he was, like, got mad at me that I sent him a photo before we were even together. It was taken, and, yeah, he got really pissed, and I was like, I'm just lazy, and I don't feel like getting all ready and taking another picture, and this one looks really good. So what do you guys think? And also, it's embarrassing, and... Yeah, I got pretty embarrassed when he like called me out like that. Okay, thanks. Bye. Let me just say that guys 
maybe girls too. I've never been a girl. But guys always know when they're being sent um, a, a, a nude photo from the like folder of good nudes. <laughs> like we always know. Because Wait, it, how do you know? Because the timing never makes sense. You know, it's like you're you're texting with some girl and you're like horny and you're like, ooh, send me a pic. And then one second later, in comes this like Victoria's Secret <laughs> shoot with like dappled <laughs> light coming in through the window and you're in perfect lingerie and you have this perfect pose. But and that's, that's, that's not that hot. I thought the hot thing was that you're supposed to take a picture of yourself like. Exactly. Hmm. I've never well, done like it what? that like in the moment. Exactly. You want it to look I fucked I, up. I never sent something from another time. I have had a, many pictures where I'm like, eh, okay, look, it's a nude. It's like pizza. Even when it's not that good, it's good. But it's like, you know, it's a nude, but you're like, this isn't a nude for me. This is like from a folder. I don't want this. <laughs> I want you to look fucked up. I want you to like, I want your eyes cocked. I want your... Wait, don't ask girls to start sending you those pictures. Oh, yeah. If you're our, one of our listeners, by the way, um, this could be a really good exercise for the podcast. Send us don't nudes. Don't say that. They're going to start sending them to you. from your file of uh, pre-prepared nudes, and, and, and then we'll be able to tell. <laughs> you think they have it saved on their phone? I know for sure, because I've had... The, you can tell the difference. Like, you think it's like in a folder that says like, Nudes? Yeah, it's like, oh, hot pics or whatever. And it's just like, no, nobody wants that. We want you to be looking a little, a little bit like, a little bit like disabled, you know, like looking and like, we want the angle to be a little fucked up, you know, and you're trying to get the angle. Oh, I didn't think you were supposed to take a picture of you climaxing. Climaxing? What is this? What is this uh, impression of? I'm saying like a, a mid per, a, mid a person orgasm. Who, no, a person who's desperate to get a good angle but is failing. You know, it's like, uh, is this good? That's what you want. You want the imperfection. You know what I mean? Ah, uh, I see. You, you I never, thought I thought you meant you wanted like the no. you wanted them to be actually raw. No, in the, in the moment. Nobody's ever. I'll tell you another thing we don't want, or I never wanted. Hmm. I never wanted close-ups. <laughs> I get a lot. Of, I used to get a lot of close-ups. Gosh, how many? Naked pics were you sent? A million? <laughs> I, I mean, an endless amount? From I never who? wanted a close up. What do you mean? From girls that I was F U C K ing? They would all just s onslaught you with nude pictures of themselves? I would request them and they would oh, come in. Oh, you asked. You never asked me for nudes. It's different, you know? It's Why? different. Because I was like in love with you, you know? Does that imply then that if 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 a guy asks for nudes, they're not in love Ooh, with you? Oh gosh, I don't know. I feel misogynist <laughs> in in real time of something being discovered. I don't know. Maybe I I don't know. I don't know. Maybe no, I, I think I'm a that caveman and I need to re-examine. I actually that. just think I'm kind of a prude or something. Like I've never right. gotten a dick pic and I've only sent pictures, but not from a file. You sent me many a nude pic. I did. Oh, many. Oh, okay. Yeah, then yeah. I've done it unrequested, which is actually a no-no these days. Is that true? Well, I think when you're married, you're kind of allowed to do whatever you want. But yeah, I, yeah, I, I never wanted a close up. I, it, when it's a close up, it's like an anatomy picture. It Wait, feel, a close up of like the vulva or something? Yeah, it, it, that feels more like a biology uh, uh, pic. What I want, I want to see your face in it. I want to see the, you know what I'm saying? No, you want the face? I want the face and it. Find a way. It's difficult. And, like Listen. the arm out and then you're trying. Yeah. Like, what would you like, the butt? Anything. Give it all to me. I want a series. I want a progression. I remember I was on the road and my, my friend was like, uh, oh, this girl just sent me, look at the pic this girl just sent me. And it was of her butt doing that. But then she had put brownie batter all over her oh, butt. <laughs> that's another thing I've never, never been interested in. <laughs> but that's bold. I've never been interested in, first of all, <laughs> that's brownie. That's kind of funny, actually. First of all, brownie batter, that's like poo poo. I mean, why? Right. Well, that's what's kind of funny about it. It's chocolate, but it's also like. <laughs> I've never been interested in the confluence of sex and food. Never been, never done it for me. Whipped cream on a nipple. I'm good. <laughs> that just seems like a yeast infection waiting to happen. So <laughs> you don't get yeast infections from your tits. Honey. You do from whipped cream. Wait, I have a, do you really? No, no, no. Wait, I have a question, Mosh. So what was your, what's your, uh, what was the craziest one you sent? Like, did anyone send you a food one? Well, I'll tell you the exception to the, you've gotten so many thousands. I'll tell you the exception to the pre, uh, the pre set rule. Mm -hmm. The only good, uh, nudes I ever got that were clearly taken before mm -hmm. were, I have gotten pictures of a woman in having sex with someone else. Like send me nudes and then all of a sudden a woman would send me a picture of her giving a blowjob. I got that 
I knew that that wasn't happening in real time, but that was so pornographic that I was willing to ex- make an exception to my rule. So she probably saved a picture to kind of shot guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. And it but, was of her for like pro in profile? I mean, this person that I'm thinking of, she sent a series and there was videos too. <laughs> Pretty awesome. Thank you for that, by the way. <laughs> Wait, do you still have it? No, 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 no. What are you, crazy? I got rid of everything. I got rid of everything. <laughs> I remember I had and a boyfriend. And if I do have it, it's in a very, very private folder somewhere. I remember I had a boyfriend and I went shovel, sh- snuffling around and I found a huge duffel bag of porn. Mm. And I was so hurt by it. By a duffel bag of porn? I don't know. It just felt like all concentrated there. <laughs> it felt like this like dark secret, but it was before everyone could jerk off online. Right. I mean, the duffel bag is more, <laughs> dis- it's disturbing. It was not huge. Uh huh. I just, would be disturbed, not betrayed. I would be like, why a duffel bag? Well, what would you put yours in? I would. Would you would you travel from like when you moved from? I would not <laughs> San have, Diego. I would or, not have an archive. <laughs> well, well, but what did you? How did you used to watch porn before you could just open up your laptop? I would rent videos. And you would have like one hanging around for. Yeah, a while? I would like rent videos from a store. Ah. Uh, yeah, I remember the old days, dude. I used to be watching porn. That sounds highly inconvenient. I used to be watching porn in my mom's house because I still live with my mom back then, uh, jerking off. But we we were pretty poor and we couldn't uh we lost the remote to the vcrs and we couldn't uh afford a new one so but with porn sometimes you want to like get through it and see more get to other parts so i'll be jerking off to porn with a broom in my hand pressing the (laughs) pressing the fast forward button on the vcr with one hand while i jerked off i don't need that image (laughs) in my mom's house and then how the poor man's remote doesn't open the door well the door was like it was in my room the door was locked i'm just saying you had like a video you had like a, um, a vcr a old vcr school. in your bedroom old school i never VCR. got a vcr in my bedroom maybe i'm lying to you maybe it wasn't in maybe it was yeah common space in the common That's space what's making me nervous yeah with the broom though like a <laughs> like a horny witch <laughs> wow honey that is really intense well speaking of intense check this next secret out Hey, y'all. Uh, I got a secret slash question. Uh, I was dating a really sweet lady. Um, very unassuming. Uh, she seemed like the most wholesome of women. And I'm, and she still is. Not here to kink shame. But we were talking about our fantasies. And She told me that her number one fantasy that she doesn't want to act on but thinks a lot about is having sex completely covered in blood. All parties involved, covered in blood, having sex. She described it as like thinking about the warmth of being covered and the texture she likes, and the smell. She was going into detail, and um, I was worried (laughs) um, immediately because she was always very intense with eye contact while we would have sex to the point where I started getting uncomfortable um, because she would look at me in a way that felt like she was wanting to consume me whole like a very black widow male prey dynamic sexually and the sex was insane um (laughs) but (laughs) i had to get out of there so um hopefully no one else can relate to that (laughs) wait hold on so definitely something happened to her I don't know about that. Definitely. If I let me talk to her for 45 minutes. Something uh, happened to her. Definitely like when she was coming of age, maybe something way worse, but what? like that Everybody for would, your fantasy to be having sex covered in blood because you like the smell and texture and consistency she's goth. of blood. That's a goth. That's a goth in the wild. By the way, let me just say Oh, like maybe she was playing a character. No, oh, it's not a character. she's probably it's like a... just saying that to no, get a rise out of I'm him. No, sure it was true. She, every, fetishes are weird. People like weird shit. She's staring him in the eye during sex. Would you like that? 
I can't say I'd like it, but I when he said the sex was insane, I was like, we knew, like <laughs> obviously. I mean, I love the juxtaposition between this like gothic blood slut and this like folksy Dabney like sheriff from down the road. Like, well, there was once a gothic queen who said she liked to be covered in her own blood as a right to daddy lucifer during sexual fluid exchange i mean what a what a he shouldn't have broken up with her it's probably the best sex you, he'll ever have you would like that i did once date a girl that was so hard not date hook up with a girl that was so hardcore i was like i can't go back for more that did she happen. bit you or something oh i talked about that i must have talked about that I'm yeah sure you told me about she it. like told me to put a cigarette out on her and i was like i don't i've talked about this I've talked about it. Anyway, but definitely she took me to my limit and I was like, I can't go further than that. I'm, I'm good. I also one time uh, met a girl on a dating site who was like, I'm really into like really hardcore stuff. And I was doing what I thought was really hardcore stuff. And at the end, you could tell she was like really unimpressed. She was like, oh, yeah, that was kind of sweet. I was like, what did you want from me? Did you want cattle prods? Anyway. Have you ever tried to put a cigarette, on, a cigarette out? I didn't me? do it to the girl that requested it. What makes you think I'd do it to you? Uh, unrequited or unrequested. Dude, what about this guy just sleeping with that girl on her period? Wouldn't she kind of get her fury, her fantasy finally come true? You wouldn't want that, though. But, it's not, but if it was your number one fetish, yeah. I know, but then she's also saying that it's the... Cons- Seemed like she wanted the blood to be more slathered everywhere. Right, she definitely did seem she like that. She wanted like yes. the blood and the the slit, like all of that everywhere. The one bullshit part of that secret I felt was when she said, "I don't want to act on it." Like you do want to act on it. We'll see. We'll see. I once hooked up with a girl who told me she can't really get off unless uh, she's in the midst of brother sister um, incest role play. <laughs> it's the only way she could get off. That's you don't think maybe something happened to her too. Let's hear another secret. Oh, wait, before we do, um, I don't know. I was just joking about let's hear another secret. But wait, you think that anytime somebody has a really, really kinky, disturbingly no. kinky no. fetish that it's because of trauma in their past? No, but sometimes. Sometimes. Sure, 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 sure. Hey, and it's not even trauma. Like I said, it could be like, you know, my friend had a, her boyfriend was obsessed with boots because he was from Chicago. And when he was start, just started getting boners in the winter, his mom's friends would all come over and they were all really hot and they would wear boots. And that was like mm. his first connection to getting a hard on. And so now he just wants people to like, he wants to smell boots. <laughs> I'm just saying like that. You know can, what they call that? What? Kinky boots. I'm just saying Guys. sometimes sometimes it's a it's an event, but it, that wasn't a traumatic event. It just led him to his kink. Yeah. But you know what they call that? Hmm. <clears throat> kinky boots. Get it? Like the Broadway show Kinky Boots? I do get it, honey. All right. Let's hear one more secret. Hey, Tash. Hey, Mosh. Okay. So I have a secret. Um, a few years ago, I used to dabble in the sugar daddy, sugar baby world. And I found myself a sugar daddy, which was exciting. And he was young, which was very odd to me, but enticing because, you know, I'm not really interested in touching, dating, uh, associating with old people and the like. Anyways, <laughs> so I found myself like a, a 22-year-old sugar daddy. And um, he was awful. He was a dick. He was terrible. Uh, he was mean to wait staff. He <laughs> insulted my intelligence and appearance. So just all around terrible person. Um, but one time we were hanging out, I smoked him up. We smoked some of my weed and he insulted my weed and told me it was trash. And so I'm like, mm-hmm, yeah, okay. And, uh, when we departed, he, you know, cash at me my $300. <laughs> For hanging out with him and and then I blocked his number I was like I'm not gonna smoke you up and then you shit on my weed like not cool man um also I came to this podcast for Natasha but I stayed for Moshe love you guys bye you know the thing Why is she have to say that thing at the end because she's got good taste except in men I mean <laughs> <laughs> the thing is about this situation. That is the most low rent sugar daddy situation. Like Absolutely. he comes over, smokes her weed, insults her, and then throws $300 at her. Also, a very funny line in the sand. 
right? It's like he was mean to wait staff. He degraded me. <laughs> he treated me like shit. But then he has the audacity to call my sativa <laughs> weak. <laughs> I'm out of here. A woman takes a stand. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? Also, she was like, I have absolutely no interest in associating, associating with, with old people. I mean, it's so funny. It, it's such it's such a good argument for why you should have an older sugar daddy. They're probably way more respectful. Oh, yeah. This is a sugar son. <laughs> 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 Fuck you, mom. Get your weed. <laughs> well, that was really... Um, that was hard because... Does she fuck him for that? Does I don't what, think so. Sugar, sh- sugar, I think if I understand the the thing correctly, sugar, sugar babies don't n- necessarily engage in sex with their sugar daddies. Sometimes it leads to that, but usually it's just like a companionship thing. It's like dates. They go on dates. I just couldn't help thinking about this twenty two year old's life. Like, how was he raised that he acts like that and has to pay people? To right, like there's hang a lot out with him. A lot going on for that guy. He can't get a date, <laughs> but he's got all this money. So he's down to pay for dates, but then he's going to be mean to the women he dates like for what? It's probably well, He's mean to wait staff too, so that means he's probably just like Just a snobby kid, like a little privileged bitch. Yeah. Yeah. That's sad. Well, Natasha, those were three bangers of a secrets. If you'd like to leave a secret, give us a call at 213-222-8608 or send us an email at endlesshoneymoonpod at gmail.com. We can be found on Instagram, on Apple, on YouTube, or wherever you get your podcasts. Leave us a secret. Email us and be on our podcast. Subscribe! <sighs> Love you. Come for Natasha. Stay for Mosh. Yeah. And send us those nudes. Uh, just... Uh, <laughs> From your from your folder, Moshe, just so we can. you can't say that. Well, I'm saying this from a from a research perspective, like so that we can answer these questions better. Send us your nudes, and we'll see. We'll tell you. We'll tell you all about it. And Natasha and I will kind of take a look, and that's that. All right. Talk I felt like one thing before yeah. we say goodbye. We didn't quite tell that woman whether she did something wrong or not. Did she by sending her boyfriend an old nude? Oh. Uh, no, she can do whatever the fuck. She, he's lucky he gets her nudes. I guess that was the take I was looking for, yeah. I guess it's just like, count your blessings. You got the nude, enjoy it. But ladies, send some fucked up nudes. No, come on. No, I'm saying, I'm not talking about me anymore. I'm saying send some fucked up nudes. That's what your man wants. Not they want to you, send them to, to people. To your man or to your or to your woman or whoever it is that's requesting it. They want you, to, they want you looking compromised. They don't want you looking like you're in a glamour shoot. They want bad lighting. They don't want, send Moshe your nudes because I don't know if he's strong enough to to, to not, what to not like look at them and I would look at them. <laughs> I am not strong enough. I would one hundred percent look at them. Why would I not look at them? Would you not look at them? Or like save them in a file? Maybe save. Yeah, I got a file in my memory. Okay. Okay, Natasha, will you send me some nudes? Uh, sure. Love you for that. Too.